Hello, I'm Von DeKirby, and today I am briefly going to answer some questions that come up very often. Many investors ask me, should I do the regional center or would I be better off having my own investment? Really, the question here is what your personal goals and abilities are and how your actions can meet those goals and abilities. If you're the kind of business person who really wants to operate your business in the United States, feels qualified to open and operate a business in the United States, and you're willing to operate that business with USCIS looking over your shoulder as to how you operate that business, that may be a good alternative for you. If you're going to operate your own business, you need to understand that you're going to need to open your business in a TEA, if, which is a target employment area, if you plan to invest 500000 Many direct investment projects generally are a million dollars. You need to also understand that in direct investment, you must prove direct job creation. That means your business in the United States must actually create and document that you're employing 10 U.S. citizens or permanent residents. These can be very, very difficult requirements and each business is different. So it's going to be dependent on you. You also in the direct investment are going to need to understand that you are going to need to manage that business. That means you're going to have to be engaged in the active management of that business. Now there are some hybrids out there that you can consider that are that, a subject that is far too broad for this brief video, but that's something to consider as well. Generally speaking, the reason people do direct investment is one, because they feel they are qualified to do it, they want to work and manage that business, and they feel that their business, if they're operating it themselves, is going to be safer and perhaps offer them a higher return. On the other side, you have the Regional Center Program, which is the perfect program for the individual that wants to obtain their green card, but does not want to actually operate the business. In the Regional Center Program, generally the investment is $500,000, and it's going to be operated by a company that is experienced in the operating of a business in the United States, they're experienced in the EB-5 arena. They know how to operate that business in a way that will satisfy the requirements of USCIS and be sure that you obtain your green card. Now, with that said, it's very, very important that you work very closely with your attorney and your financial advisor in the selection of the regional center program and the particular investment you might select. One of the beauties of the Regional Center Program is you don't have to work in the business. You don't have to live where the business is located. That means you can locate anywhere in the United States. And you don't really have to engage in the active management or responsibilities that come along with that business. Study it carefully, work with your financial advisor, and make sure if you're selecting the Regional Center Program that you have due diligence done and that you know that the investment that you're investing in will do two things. It will meet the investment requirements that you have, so you will see in the future the return of your investment capital. And secondly, it meets the requirements of USCIS. You're going to obtain your conditional green card, and then two years later, you're going to receive your permanent green card. That is a very brief explanation. It's something that you need to explore in detail with your attorney and financial advisor. But I hope this very brief video has been of some help to you. Thank you.